Hey, everybody. We're two boys, and we've got one brain cell. Only one? Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just wanted to be <laughs> sure. <laughs> Today, we're checking out the co-defendants. And what song, Chuck? Co. Coda. Defendants. You almost you fucked that up. Yeah, whatever. You, you definitely did. It's Coda. Defendants. It's still co-defendants. <laughs> You've been wrong on a lot of stuff on here. The crime wave aspect, uh, the name. Just hack that all to bits. Well, we, we're basically accidentally reacting to this entire album. I've tried, uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> we're like, hey, we'll check out a few songs by the co-defendants. Sure. And then... And then we know, like them. <laughs> we've fallen into this, like, just whole of, like, we, all right, we got to check out more. Like, a week or two will go by. And then we're like... All right, all right. I need more crime wave in me. Like, more, let's go. You got any more of that crack? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the co-defendants need to, you know, release another album. We need more. We're gonna run out too we, quick. We gotta finish this album first. Okay? Yeah, but we, we're gonna run out too fast. We're gonna be overwhelmed, Chuck. It's, it's already out of control. I don't know. And they did drop a new song. That's right. All so, right. so we got we got work to do, Chuck. Let, let's let's jump into this. All right, let's do it. Everything we've ever needed Nothing is really more urgent than breathing Slow down Half of my friends turned to ghosts now That opiate virus took whole towns Victims of a war But to me there were gold that was never quite found We are all we have Till it's all we had Goodbye We are all we have till it's all we have. Goodbye. Am I a ghost? Or could my compass be broke? I'll never find home. Wake up and gasp for air. Grab a handful of mattress and I stare out my thoughts. I wanna stop with a muzzle blast from ear to ear. Just to be clear. Just to be clear. We are all we have until it's all we had goodbye. We're a generation that won't grow. Won't grow up. If the system will take us out, we make sure we do it solo. With some chemical therapy, all for the whole world to close rooms. Anxiety, depression, violence, and disinformation is burying us. Social media eulogies followed by dopamine rush Everybody acting like they either don't give a fuck Or they're up in arms Only wishing to feel a touch Or feel anything at all But we're enough We're enough Cause we are all we have Till it's all we had I'm gonna kick your ass <laughs> For what? Did you just take out my fucking light bulb? I think so. <laughs> you definitely did. <laughs> and the bad lighting is Chuck's fault. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> oh, it's, it's very dungeonous in here. <laughs> oh, shit. Fucking worth it. <laughs> Unreal. He's. That was disrespectful. <laughs> that was funny as shit. Dude, I just tossed it over one of the ceiling fan to hit it back at me. It did it. Oh. <laughs> uh, Jesus. <laughs> you son of a bitch. He just said we're a generation that won't grow old. <laughs> and then Chuck's like, you know what that means? Take out the fucking lights. The fucking YOLO. Uh, he Let's said go. YOLO. <laughs> uh, oh, <God>. Unreal. <laughs> um, co-defendants, vibe change. Again. Uh, lots of vibe changes. <laughs> all over the place. And uh, let me just say, I really, really like this one, too. I, I'm enjoying it. 
<sighs> I don't know if I'm enjoying it as much as like the rest of the album, but it is still very, very nice. Like it's once again another song that doesn't match at all. Nope. To the rest of the album, and it does in a way for some. You know yeah, what I, mean? I don't. It's I don't some know how strange to way. Um, that intro. I know you're not a big fan of that style of intro, but this one was a little different. This was different. I don't know if I liked it or disliked it, the intro part of it. Yeah. But it wasn't bad. I love their their vo- their voices sound great. Yeah. And the lyrics are good, too. I like the, uh, if the system doesn't take it out, we'll do it solo. Take us out? Yeah, if it doesn't take us out, we'll do it solo. Yeah. Through some chemical therapy, our bullet hole wounds. I love the social media eulogies followed by dopamine rush. Just, yeah. just hitting the trifecta of all the issues. The mental issues, anxiety, depression. Absolutely. A little bit of dopamine. And instrumentally, this is obviously, this is probably superior to the rest of the, the album, just instrumentally. There's it a is, lot of stuff going so on. There's so much going on, but it's so smooth. Absolutely. And simple. It is. But it's not. If that makes sense. That makes 100% of sense to me. Good. But we are running on one braid cell. So there's that. <laughs> this is true. There is that. Let's finish this out. Let's do it. I hope you guys like listening to music in the dark. Whistling. What? I thought I heard somebody whistle. You heard Fat Mike, right? We're all we have until it's all we had. Goodbye. Fat Mike was one of those voices in there. Yeah. And I want to say the one lady from uh, Days and... Is it Days and Days? Days and Days and uh, Escape from the Zoo. I want to say one of the lines we are... All we had until yeah, all we had. I think one of them was her as well, but I could be wrong. I'm guessing. I, at a certain guessing. point, I was just like, "Is this just everybody in the band's going to say that line?" Oh, it's it was the that the last two I think were the people in the band, and then the rest I I think it was kind of like because I mean I approve. people from Fat Wreck, yeah. So like they're kind of probably all kind of friends a little bit. I oh, imagine sure. two are together and stuff. I, I I would think that or they're just uh in there making something very creative, which they succeeded in. Yeah. Well, that was an experience for sure. Um, what do you think, bud? You know, I really enjoyed this. It was good. It was good. Even the, like, obviously got super repetitive there towards the end. Oh, but yeah, but not in a it, bad way. No, not in a bad way. And the just the way it bounced around with the instrumentals and the different things they were doing and all that with it definitely kept everything fresh and mm-hmm. just kept it going. Absolutely. We did it. We did it. It's over. This is crime wave. Yep. Um, yeah, I really, I think instrumentally, this is r- really, really, really nice. Um, oh, is Fat Wreck didn't do this? Is Bottles to the Ground? Yep. 
which might be Fat Mike's other music label, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, anyways, yeah, I, I really enjoyed, obviously, the vocals, the lyrics in this, just the overall sound, but it was very experimental, and it felt like a really good outro to the album. It really did. Now, in casual listening, I'm kind of curious what happens with this one, for sure. Uh, definitely me as well. I mean, they said goodbye a lot. Yeah, but I feel like I might not notice that as much in casual listening. Probably kind of like just chilling, you know? Probably not. So, um, for this one, I'm going to go with a... Oh. I'm going to go with a six here. I'm very impressed with the instrumentals here and the violin. I'm a sucker for that. Mm -hmm. um, flat six. It's going to go on a playlist. Love it. I'm going to go with a 6.7 playlist. Hell yeah. For sure. Um, definitely enjoyed just the, the vibe overall. It was really nice and pleasant. Um, it was definitely an interesting song. Yeah, absolutely. Guys, Chuck has an F-bomb to rate. Yeah, he does. There's a reason we're sitting in the dark, and the F-bomb is the reason. It has nothing to do with your fucking actions, does it? <laughs> no, that's still my fault, but <laughs> I did it because of the F bomb. <laughs> he said, fuck this room. <laughs> not what I wanted from that. All right. <laughs> Do we need to ban F bombs? No more F bombs in our so songs we listen to at all? You guys go ahead and answer that one for me. <laughs> I don't need to. You're destroying my house. <laughs> piece by fucking piece. Well, I put oh. a hole in the wall over there, and uh, oh, <laughs> where I don't know. It's just getting bigger and bigger. First, we were just throwing stuff. Now you're taking the light bulbs. <laughs> Next is the camera. <laughs> it's just gonna keep going. New he's, goal. He's out of control. <laughs> he's out of control. Okay. Chuck, Chuck rates fucks. This one was solid. It was there's only one, and it was literally they either act like they don't give a fuck, or they basically freak out. Was the whole premise of that line, which yeah. I really enjoyed because, one, facts. <laughs> and two, it's just a nice drop. It was. And I don't think it's phenomenal by any means, but it was really nice, and it was well-placed, well-timed. So with that one, I'm going to go with a 7.6. 7 7.6 on the F bomb rating from Chuckles. Yep. Guys, for two boys. We have one brain cell. I'm Joel Norton. I'm Charles Beeson. Obviously, Charles Beeson over there. Make sure you drop down in the comments on who gets that brain cell. It is the most important thing. Who cares about the music? It's all about the brain cells. Facts. Again. Yeah. I, I broke Joel's house. I'm happy regardless. <laughs> <laughs> I should get the brain cell for just not kicking your ass on camera. <laughs> no, I think if you did it, then you'd get the brain cell. You're right. It is tempting. I'm sure. It is, it is tempting just for the fun of it. it just be, to tackle you and dude. just send it. Just send it and see what happens. But there's a lot of expensive equipment. <laughs> yeah, there and, is. And my adult self is arguing with my child self. <laughs> Your adult self's like, oh, that's going to hurt my shoulder tomorrow. I'm like, damn, it'd be hilarious if I just tackled his ass right now and beat the shit out of him right on camera, right? But then my adult self's like, your wife's going to fucking just flame you dude the worst part is i don't know if i'd res i don't know how i'd react i might just laugh about it you probably you probably it'd be one of those scenarios like when we were like younger and we we're like just fighting over yeah. random something and like one person just laughing their ass off <laughs> can't, can't even defend themselves that's typically me when i get like when somebody like i'm talking shit and someone tackles me or like trying to wrestle me and i'm immediately just dying and I can't contain myself. I find it fucking hilarious. Yeah. And I'm just weak. Then. Because at certain points, you're just like, I deserve it. Fuck yeah. it. Yeah. You're like, this is ridiculous, <laughs> but it's funny. You know what's the worst part about that is my first thing on there is my adulting is like, my wife's going to yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> Second is the expensive equipment. Yeah. That's... It you should, should go with the expensive equipment and, and then, then your wife's going to kill you yeah, because exactly. that's why your wife exactly. would kill you. Exactly. It's easier to get a new wife than it is. To oh, no, what? 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 <laughs> well, I someone's wife's hearing about this I one. <laughs> Time to go before I get in trouble. More trouble. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Peace.